Hey, what is up everybody? This is Stevie Breach coming to you here today with a story of Edge re-signing with the WWE. Of course, Edge, um, when he left wrestling after WrestleMania 27, when he announced his retirement, uh, when his WWE deal ended, many people thought that he would sign the so-called Legends contract that a lot of WWE superstars uh, sign, which WWE is able to use their likeness to, you know, make t-shirts and make figures. Um, but Edge didn't sign that deal. You know, he made returns. He was on like the big SmackDown uh, show uh, to hype up, you know, SmackDown moving to Fox and their, you know, 25th year anniversary or, or whatever it was. He's made appearances, but um, he basically thought that the Legends deal uh, wasn't what he thought it should be. And there are a lot of people under the Legends deal would show up and do um, things like the pre-show or a big Monday Night Raw um, that just sort of cash the check and just think of it. But maybe Edge thought if they want to bring me in, they're going to bring me in, whether it's to hype up his TV show Vikings or you know to hype up the Edge and Christian show on the WWE Network. But this deal is supposed to be him returning to wrestling. Um, at SummerSlam this year, they brought him in. He was a part of the pre-show. He hit a spear on Elias. If you li listen to the Edge and Christian podcast when it was a thing, um, it was a pretty good show. Um, I listened to it in spurts. I listened to it continuously. Um, every Sunday, I, I don't. I think it came out on Thursdays, but I don't know. It came. It became my Sunday morning podcast uh, to listen to at work, and I, I really liked it. But then all of a sudden, something would happen, and I wouldn't listen to it. And then all of a sudden, I realized I was four behind. I listened to all four in a row, and I'm thinking, how in the world can I forget about the show? It, it when it was around, it was a really good show normally anchored by a really good interview uh, with somebody in the wrestling business, but it has since ended. And one of the people, one of the reasons why a lot of people thought that it ended was for Edge to get back into wrestling. And, um, you know, he had said on the show many times, it's probably the most asked question he's ever been, that he knows how he could work a match and not get injured. It's just, is it worth getting back into there. And every single time he sort of answered this question, you could feel that itch to get back into the ring. And this year at SummerSlam, when he made his return and he hit the big spear on Elias, that sort of hit a lot of things that he would be able to be cleared for anything in ring um, to, to be able to do it. And, you know, in the last few years, we had uh, Daniel Bryan makes his return to wrestling. Definitely Paige has made it known that she wishes that she could be cleared to actually wrestle. Um, and and maybe, you know, with Edge coming back, maybe that gets us back to the point where maybe Paige uh, would be able to return somewhere down the road. But a lot of people are thinking that, you know, Edge would come back for something at WrestleMania. Um, if Edge comes back for a match at WrestleMania, there's nobody on the roster that I can really pinpoint and say, I want to see this match. WWE knows how to do this thing come January where they sprinkle this magic on the current product and sort of make things a lot better than they are the rest of the year to make WrestleMania bigger. Um, as of right now, I, I don't think of somebody uh, picking Edge to win the Royal Rumble, to go to WrestleMania to wrestle for a championship. Um, I don't really think two retired guys, Edge versus CM Punk, um, would, would be something that would be that fun. I don't know if he shows up on backstage. They don't agree on something, so they just start throwing fists. Uh, that doesn't make a lot of sense. And I don't really see Edge returning to wrestling just to call out I can maybe see Edge versus Seth Rollins. That's about it. But everything else doesn't really make a lot of sense, and we're going to have to see how it just sort of plays out. But getting Edge back, I mean, there's a lot of good things that come with it. Um, I don't see him as a guy that's going to wrestle every Monday Night Raw. I don't see him as a guy that's going to wrestle every um, SmackDown or pay-per-view. I think it's just going to be here 
maybe there, maybe somewhere down the road. But we'll see what we get. And there's a lot of people who really like Edge to the point that this is going to be a big exclamation point for them to become WrestleMania. I can tell you the truth. I really like the Edge documentary. I really like Edge as a person when you break down like reading his book or reading his do or watching his documentary or, or anything like that. But when it comes down to it, Edge never really was that guy I connected to that much in the ring. He has some really good matches that stand out. But as a character, I don't really ever think I, I got behind him that much.